Hi guys, another charity shop gold or garbage. This is a bit of a special one because this is to show people that not everything I buy in charity shops is gold. This one's garbage. It doesn't look it, but it is. If you went into the charity shop and picked this up and bought it, because it looked good, uh, £4 I actually paid for this, that probably doesn't show on the camera. £4, which is more than I would normally pay, I only like to pay a pound for anything. And it looked good. In fact, looking through the plastic packaging, I could see the hovercraft. I could see the transmitter, which is a bonus, because you never get them when you buy them in charity shops. And I could even see a second transmitter. This one's 40 megahertz and has nothing at all to do with it. So, what's wrong with it, we say? Well, the transmitter takes a 9 volt battery. So, I'm going to stick a 9 volt in there. Flashing light in there so it appears to work. Don't know what that button does. Got some instructions so that might tell us. Red button on back. <laughs> yes, it tells us it's a red button, it doesn't tell us what it does. Hmm. Might have to read a bit more on that. It tells you how to put the battery in the transmitter tells you how to get the battery out of the hovercraft. You open the front and inside. Oh good, we've got a nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery. What's wrong with that we might say? Well, there's no charger. So, unless you've got a charger already, you're stuck because you can't charge that battery. That's the only battery that's supposed to go in there. And it's not going to work for you. I can probably work a way around that. I can rig up some sort of charger to charge it or potentially it's 9.6 volts. It's actually 8 double A size batteries. So 8 times 1.2 is 9.6. So I could rig up 8 of my own rechargeable batteries and fit them in there. So that will get round it. But as I say, if you bought this in the shop as it is, you'll get home, give it to your son, grandson or whatever, He'll look at it and he'll throw it in the corner in disgust because you can't use it. A couple of other things. Um, there's a screw missing from that propeller. So it's completely loose. Doesn't do anything. Reading the instructions, and I must say they're not very good, in my opinion. It talks about being careful not to damage the rubber skirt. Um, I don't see a rubber skirt there. So that would appear to be missing as well. You can get round that. You can use a rubbish bag, plastic bag, and tape it round there and that will give us another skirt. And it will probably work without a skirt anyway. But that's missing. The motors look okay in there, but I've got no way of testing them without rigging up a battery. So, can probably get it to work. But, that is charity shop garbage. No use to anybody who actually thinks they're going to get a nice hovercraft out of it. To me, I can make use of all the parts. But, to anybody else, rubbish. Garbage.
just to check if I got a lucky bonus with this extra transmitter that was sitting in there. It's a 40 megahertz. I'll put a fresh battery in there. This is a 40 megahertz car. So it looks like it's a Duff transmitter as well. So that wasn't a bonus. One positive note, the transmitter does work. This is my Christmas bauble amphibious car which uses two separate motors to control the back wheels. So that's one wheel, that's the other. So forwards, backwards and turn. Only the batteries are flat. <laughs> Lovely demonstration. Granddad. Yeah, batteries are a bit flat. I have to do it just lifting it up for now. So, counter rotating wheels. So, we did get a decent transmitter. Quick test, 9 volt battery. I've switched it on, there's an on off switch there. So, everything appears to work, but we just need to sort out what we're going to do about the battery. Because I don't think it's going to run for very long off one of them.